air water cusps to your November in numerology reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. This is for Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, and Aquarius, Pisces. Welcome, my friends. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Okay. In November, getting the collective out here and show me, Spirit, what it is they have in common when it comes to this numerology and message we have perseverance it is time to keep persevering in your hopes and your dreams do not let anything get you down at this time you know especially right now after this lunar eclipses and the solar eclipses and all these things that we have had throughout the year and then finally having a, the big boom in october um you know it's like reaping the rewards everybody's getting this fresh new slate um yeah Remember, because we already had lunar and solar eclipses also in, I believe it was March or April. I'm not sure exactly. Now, I, for some reason, I can't remember which one it was. I said, I think I said it before, but I can't really remember now. Anyways, it doesn't matter. The whole thing is we've had them, and this was the big kaboom, right, um, in October. So, especially with that ring of fire, what a beautiful, heavy-duty solar eclipse that was that does not happen very often that is major um that is just a major karmic wipe the slate right so definitely want to take advantage right now of your dreams your hopes your wishes that's why we did so many of those meditation and manifestation videos making sure everybody's got you know got everything out we have physical activity spirit says right now it is time to get out there and get physical you know, uh, it is time to exercise, you know, kind of wash away all of the kind of just, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like you hold on to this energy, right? This energy from all the eclipses and, you know, some of that like kind of karmic energy, which is kind of washing away everything and just get physical, get moving, right? Time to really get moving, get shining. Um, for spirituality as well. So we have 77 coming out, 67 and 4. Wow, so you have a lot of 6s. That's that giving yourself that love. Um, you have a lot of that. It's Look at that 777 coming out. Wow, so Spirit is really on top of you over here. They're just like, it is time. You know, let's get physical. Let's get moving. Get down to business. It is time to get business. <laughs> get those business deals done. Get to the gym. Get moving. Get those muscles going. Feel like your best. And that's really what it feels like in this reading. Is It's like it's time to keep the hopes and dreams alive and feel your best. Right? Yes. So with the spiritual spirituality over here, I love that because it wants you to make sure that you understand you're not a human having a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being having a human experience. And your relationship with Source is your path to inner peace. When you find your way to the universe, you find your way back home. By selecting this card, you are being encouraged to celebrate and strengthen your relationship with the divine in whichever way you choose. You may opt for prayer, meditation, chanting, yoga, periods of silence, contemplation, perhaps quiet time in nature. Getting physical also helps as well. You know, get yourself physical out there and just really give back to yourself. And remember, it doesn't matter which option you choose for there is no right or wrong path. Only you can know your ultimate path to the divine. Love it. And remember, no request goes unanswered and no request is too big or too small for the divine. So you are also being urged to communicate with your lost loved ones, spirit guides, angels, and assistants to the divine whenever it is required. Do not be afraid to ask for anything, as they said, too big or what they consider to be too small. There's no such thing. Right? your time to shine. Do not allow others to hold you back. You know what it is you want. It's also time to manifest. But you remember, guys, you manifest every day, consciously or unconsciously. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the house you have. You wouldn't have the car you have, right? Whether it's negative manifesting or positive manifesting, you have them all, right? You think negative, more than likely the action taken is going to be negative back, right? Think positively, right? Because energy is always moving. Crown chakra, 
know what it is that you want, know where it is your hopes and dreams are going. You know what you want. You know what it is, right? If you're feeling helpless and hopeless in love or what it is you do love or whatever it is that you want to possess that you are passionate about, do not feel hopeless and helpless. Ask the universe for the help, right? Believe and succeed, right? And you already know the rules, right? It's like if it's not good for me and they don't want it, you know, God's, right? God's here to protect me. He's, you know, he's here to give it to me or he's not. And sometimes we ask for things and sometimes we don't get exactly what it is we want. Maybe sometimes we get something a little different. Strengthening the bonds within yourself. It is time to make sure that you know what path you want to go on. It's time. Challenging times. Put them behind us. Don't allow them to rule our lives. Right? Time to heal. Awaiting results. Reach out to what it is you really want. Right? Reach out to what it is you truly want. That way the divine knows exactly what you want. But you have to be, you know, when you are... Manifesting and doing things, you have to be very accurate about what it is you want. No confusion. Right? When you're scripting, you want to script it every damn detail. I mean, you know, black, leather, interior, silver, painted car, V6. Now, does it mean you're going to get exactly that? Does not mean that. It just means that it knows what you want. Be surprised though how many people actually do get stuff like that. I've watched some crazy stuff. I mean, crazy stuff. You know, mind blowing. I've even heard. You know, I've even had clients. You know, that are like, "Oh my gosh, you taught me how to manifest, and now all of a sudden I got exactly what I wanted, down to every detail." It's like, "Wow, how do you do that?" You know, I'm still learning on all these little things, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm learning, and then I'm I'm teaching it back. And some people are just picking it up really fast. I mean, it's, you know, they can keep that vibration going. They can keep that going in their mind, you know, and it's like, okay, guys, you can, if they can do it, we can do it. We are no different from anybody else. It's just trying our hardest, right? But we have to let go of those challenging times. Spirit said, it is time. It is time for you to push out there what it really is you truly want and await those results. Don't be shy about what it is you want. You're here as a spirit being, having a human experience. You are not 100% human. Only this bag that you're wearing, <laughs> right, is of the earth, right? Don't let others tell you what you can have and what you cannot have. I just did that reading. Who was that that I just did that for? They had the same exact thing. Oh, Water, fire signs, Cancer, Leo, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and uh, uh, fire, Pisces, uh, Pisces, Aries. Just did, had the same thing going on where somebody's trying to push their dreams down, trying to tell them that they, you know, they can't have this and that. seems to be a collective thing that's going on right now because it seems to be coming up a lot in the collective. Thoughts are collective and we all share a lot of the collective things and this seems to be a big major database. Dear, trust and support of the universe. Yeah. It seems, you know, put your eyes out. You know what you want. Look to the heavens. You know exactly what it is you need and what you want. Remember, energy never dies. It just continues to move. It's transferred. Energy is transferred. It never dies. So therefore, you know, watch what you're watch what you're manifesting too, guys. Okay, so you're not making more challenging times for yourself or keeping yourself stuck, right? By thinking negative, we don't want to put out a manifest or a prayer and then turn around and deny that. But see, we as humans, in our little mind and a little brain over here. Okay, it wants us to say, well, it's not coming in, it's not coming in, so maybe it's never going to happen. Or start doubting, and, you know, fearing that it's never going to work, I didn't do it right, something's wrong, I, I'm not good enough for that. Then all these, there, you see the rundown, it just goes from, it just, it's just like a tidal wave. 
It's an avalanche is really what it is. If you think about it, it's like snowballing yourself. It starts out as one little snowball and then just gathers and gathers and gathers until all of a sudden you're like such a low vibration. You're just like, and everybody else is getting shit but me. So we have to make sure that we keep ourselves at the highest vibrations. So just keep saying, you know what, just because it didn't happen now doesn't mean it's not going to happen later. I've watched people, you know, manifest things and it comes in five years later when spirit believes that it's time for them to have that for whatever purpose, whatever lesson, whatever it was that they needed to do. Right? King of Cups, emotionally balanced on your physical activity. This is going to, getting physical is going to allow your emotional balance. You will not be thinking much when you are physically active. You know what you're going to be doing mostly when you're physically active? Subconsciously thinking. Just like driving, think about it. When you're driving, it's almost like, how did I even make it from point A to point B because I know I was in some fairy land? Right? If I'm driving too long, it's amazing I can do two in one. Manifest dreams over here, and you know, with my subconscious and pay attention to the road. Right? With the spirituality, it says there's a lot of hard work and productivity, but yes, you know, it says that it's moving a little slow this month for you. So, you guys, you know, you're taking on the responsibility, but you might be having problems with efficiency. You might be having problems getting to that meditation. You might be having problems trying to, um, you know, conserve time, right? Just make sure that you are giving yourself some time, right, for yourself, for your, your purpose, right? It's time to rest, you guys need a little more downtime, a little more retreat time for yourself, a little more relax, relaxation, a little more meditation. Even taking a small nap, you know, helps rejuvenate. On the crown chakra over here, it says you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know deep down inside, you already know, 777. You got four sevens going on over here. Plus the seven over here with the eight, with the manifestation. Over here it says with the crown chakra, you know what you're supposed to be doing, but yet there is some scattered energy that's going on. You're causing your own delays. You're causing your own frustration when it comes to certain situations. And I think it's just because you're not resting enough. So therefore, you're scattering energy. You're fragmenting energy, right? So you maybe feel like you're a little disorganized within the situation of how you're trying to do things when it comes to this. So you're having a little bit of overwhelmness when it comes to certain situations. You need to stop, rest, and re-evaluate re and re-prioritize uh, what it is you're really doing when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to what it is you truly want. There is no helpless and hopeless when it comes to love, right? But that's what it's making you feel at this time for a lot of you. or And it doesn't have to be in love itself. It could be with what you are passionate about, what it is you truly want, what it is I truly love. You need to be the hermit and do a little bit of soul searching right now. Seek the truth of what it truly is, how you want this and how you want things done. What is it that I truly need within myself? Find your worthiness as well, having the self-love. Why is it saying the self-love? Well, it's the thing that nobody in the world ever wants to hear. Self-love means that I'm giving all of the graciousness to the understanding that we have limitless potential. Because otherwise, believing that you cannot have certain things is not giving yourself self-love and self-worth. It's allowing you to say, everybody else is better than me. That's why they're getting stuff and I'm not getting what I want. Every time we say things like that, it is not self-assuring. So therefore, if it's not self-assuring, then that's not much self-love. See, self-love means so many different things and people get it so... Um, they get it, a lot of times they get it so wrong. And we hear these things all the time. I have self-love. I love myself. I take care. No, no, that's not it. You're missing the deeper, the deeper spiritual pieces of the situation. This is something that all humans go through. We all experience this at one time. This is when we down ourselves. When we say we're not good enough. This is when we say, well, maybe I'm, I'm not going to ever get that because I'm not good enough for that. But Sally down the street is good enough for this. These are things that people do not want to hear, right? But we all know that we do possess this at, at certain times. Watch those things. Be careful of that. It causes it causes breakdowns within ourselves because we're breaking ourselves down when we actually have so much more. 
and we can be so much more. We can have so much more. And it doesn't matter how much yours is worth Sally's down the street. Who gives a shit what Sally has? See what I'm saying? Because if we're always looking at that, then that causes a competition between what I'm looking at and what they're ha You know what I'm saying? We all have certain different levels of things. My abundance is different from what your abundance is. You know, what I'm comfortable with will be different from what they're comfortable with. What you are comfortable with will be different from what I feel comfortable with. If I'm comfortable with this much money, right, maybe let's say that I make, you know, maybe I make $65,000 a year and I'm very comfortable. Somebody else will say, well, I am not comfortable with $65,000 a year. I am so sorry. I am only comfortable with eighty five. dollars Okay, well, then that's good for you. You see what I mean? So everybody's comfort zone is also different, but that's giving that self-care and that self-love to say that I am comfortable. That's what the self-love is. It has nothing to do with because I wash my body or I do my hair or, you know, because my ego is high. People have the weirdest thing sometimes to why you think that what self-love is. We all have to remember that there's different things that go on to why these things are. We're looking at the deeper measurement. If you are self-sabotaging yourself, you are not giving yourself love. Thank you, Spirit. That's, that's, that's literally it right there. It's a portrayal of yourself. You are, you know, betraying your own self from your own abundance. This, yes, absolutely. Thank you. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's. It's your self-sabotage away from your own abundance. Right? So you want to make sure that you're strengthening the bonds within yourself, within spirit, and everything around you. You know, and this is knowing exactly who you are, what you want, and how you're going to do things. Right? And this is, you know, yeah, you're courageous. Your courage, your strength. This is going to make you into this beautiful queen of wands over here where you're going to know your self-confidence. You're going to understand your zest for life, your determination, your joy, and the independence that you perceive from different areas of life. This brings in the abundance, the opportunities, the prosperities, the new jobs, the careers, and there it is. It brings in the what? What you were hopeless and helpless with thinking you weren't going to get to. And there it brings, you know, there it is. Bringing in that passion. Bringing in that union, bringing in that love, bringing in whatever it is that you're looking for. Right, because then it's that believe to succeed because every time that we say that we believe and then we get rid of that, then we don't have much of a belief system now, do we? Do we really trust in the universe? Did we really trust within ourselves? Did we see what I'm saying? Because as soon as we deny what we just manifested, what we just said we were going to do, it shows no faith, no trust. Yeah, within our own manifestation. So we have to hold true and know that we have to look at that pinnacle and say, you know what, I manifested this, I took action on it, and I know that it's going to come in. And like I said, even if the universe says, you know what, but I don't want you to have this, they will reward you with something that they believe is better for you. There is no. There is no such thing as not getting something. You're always up for karmic rewards. We get them every day whether you notice them or not. You find that dollar on the ground where you think, you know, there's no such thing by chance. It was probably because maybe you had said something, even subconsciously, you were like, yeah, you know, and I could use a little bit of money. Then you find $5. Think about the things that happen in your life that you think are, full, you know, by chance. Right. So make sure that you are, you know, not, you know, make sure that you are uh, not uh, resisting the change. You want to make sure that you are letting go of those thoughts, those feelings, that baggage, that stuff that no longer serves you so that you can allow one door to close to allow this other door also to open. And sometimes that's also the big thing, too, you know, is not allowing yourself, you know, to let go of certain energies and certain things, but always make sure that you know exactly what it is and have the compassion for yourself, right, to make sure that you're looking in that cup, because you know what, there is so much out there, and the universe just wants to give to you, 
you have it within yourself, you know, to make opportunities. That's the imprints over there. She is the co-creator of the universe. She has the opportunities to co-create, right? This right here says you're just not aligned. You need to get yourself aligned with certain situations. Make sure that you are taking control of what it is you truly want. Don't allow yourself confusion. And just because you can't see everything and that some things are hidden, and just because you can't see everything that's going on within your life does not mean that it does not exist. It just means that there are certain things within the universe they do not want you to know about. Right? Even us as tarot readers cannot always come up with every solution because we will even tell you, well, that's hidden. I can't really, I'm kind of confused. I can't see what it is. But I do know one thing, you're on the right path. And that's just because we're blocked. We're blocked on purpose. Right? You're blocked on purpose because they just want you to keep going strong. I tell you. I tell you. You guys are awaiting those results. Okay? Till next time, my friends. Peace and love with the light.